Most of us are here every day, so I'd like to give you a road map, the direction of our readings for this week and next week, because yesterday we had a special readings for highlight the feast of the Passion or Beheading of John the Baptist. But if, uh, if it did not fall on, you know, yesterday, it, we would have started with the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. So today is the second day, so we'll be taking this till next week for eight days, including today. Today, tomorrow, next week, Monday to Saturday. This letter was written about, you know, 52, year 52. So more than uh, 20, more or less 20 years after no, the, the, uh, the community of Corinth was founded by Paul in around 51, year 51, 52. The earliest, of course, documents, if the New Testament is the first and second letter to the Thessalonians, which were written about 56. So I'm talking about the founding of the church of Corinth. Uh, which Paul founded. So, um, Corinth is like metropo it's like Manila. It's a mixed community. You have different kinds of people. So, this is the situation where Paul preached the gospel. As he mentions it very clearly, he was sent to preach the gospel to make the ways of God known to people because the Greeks were very intellectual. They would always rationalize, think about many things, philosophy and different things. The Jews were in a way practical. And you know, how can one who is crucified save us? How can he set us free? He's crucified, he died. So it was difficult for them to accept. And yet that's the wisdom of God. The foolishness of God in the eyes of man is wisdom. And this is what Paul tries to tell the Corinthians. This is what Paul is trying to tell us. The wisdom of God through the cross. It's not easy to understand. Just as the heavens are very far from the earth. Our minds, our ways, our thoughts are also very distant, far from the heavens. And yet, it's only by focusing on the cross that we will learn what life is, what freedom is, what love is. This is what St. Paul is trying to teach us. It's difficult, and yet, with the help of the Holy Spirit in our hearts, we will have the power, the knowledge, the wisdom to understand the ways of the Lord. So this is just an introduction. But we will uh, follow it with other reflections as we move uh, in the letter of Paul to the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians because we have two letters, okay? Now in the gospel, again, when we speak of parables, they can be interpreted many ways because parables are meant to challenge, to titillate our minds, to make them think, to shock us. And so I'll just highlight one or two points in the parable. So. We heard a parable, five wise virgins and five foolish. The five wise, they brought oil with them. The foolish did not have oil with them. They did not foresee, they did not plan for the future. So what can we learn from this? First, there are things that we have to take advantage every day grab the opportunity to use the opportunity God gives us 
to build our life of faith. Such opportunities may not come anymore. So once you lose them, that's it. Of course, we can always repent. We can always do something. But we have to use all the opportunities God gives us each day. Like today, you could have stayed in bed. You could have stayed at home. And yet you are here because you decided to be here. You decided to celebrate. So there are things that we should choose each day. And our choice will help us build our lives and will also help us build the lives of other people. Because in our own little way, we influence one another. The choir, they sing beautifully because they try to encourage by singing beautifully before God. So there are things that we cannot share. You have to do it yourself, building a life of faith. Nobody can do that for you except you. You have to build your life of charity. Nobody can do that for you, even your own family. You have to do it. These are personal things. To be sincere, to be transparent, to be friendly, to reach out to others. These are personal decisions. And that's how we should use our free will. Not to just choose what we want to do. Sometimes what we want to do is selfish. Sometimes it is very short-sighted. And yet, we ask the Lord that we may use well the free will that He gave us to set us free, not to be slaves of sin, to make us appreciate more the goodness of God. Amen.